Hey there, y'all. So what I'm doing right now is a reading for all the different signs uh, for your healing path to see what you may need to know while you're on your healing journey. So we're going to ask Spirit to come in and show us where you are at right now on your healing journey and what you may need to know, okay? So I'm going to do each individual signs. I will try to write down uh, the time that I'm starting each individual sign <laughs> so that you guys can get the uh, time stamps, okay? Um, new to this, so bear with me on that, you guys. All right. Again, if you guys uh, find that you resonate with this, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And um, my uh, information is below if you'd like a private reading from me. So let's get into this. We're going to start with uh, Aries first, okay? And find out what the healing message is for you all. And what you probably need to work on at this time, Aries, okay? So pay attention. We're going to do a few of the oracles that I have laid out here and at also Tarot. So come into this reading spirit for Aries and show me what energy I need to be made aware of for Aries on their healing journey. It's because you're wanting to jump out for you, Aries. What do you need to see for Aries on their healing journey? What do they need to be made aware of right now? Please spare these cards are slippery because they're new. They were given to me by a subscriber, uh, Coretta. So Coretta, thank you for these cards. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Show me what I need to see for Aries for their healing journey. What does Aries need to be made aware of for their healing journey? The bottom of the deck, Aries, is unconditional love. My heart is free from resentment towards others. I open the eyes of my heart and discover the light and beauty in every being. I am aware that suffering can cause distress and hurt in people. I see the pure child in everyone and practice forgiveness. So Aries, you could be practicing forgiveness with someone right now. You could be finding a new love in your life, or maybe you're opening your heart to a new love in your life, okay? Show me what I need to see for Aries for their healing information. One more for Aries. Wow, Aries. By the way, the deck is serenity. Through love, release, and inner work, I know peace. I have a gentle view of life and welcome every step with confidence. I remain brave in the face of fear and have the wisdom to let the universe do its work. All right, Aries, nice energy. Okay, definitely feel the heart chakra with the green in the background here. So you are healing, Aries. So we have everything turned to light. I work to improve myself, embrace all that life brings to me, and transform darkness into light. I allow myself to grow and become stronger. So Aries, you could have been facing a little bit of a, um, a doubt or something like this here. I feel like you really needed to go within or something like this and um, maybe you found something out about who you were in this when you were going within. Something came became to the light for you, okay? Like something brought you clarity and I was thinking clarity when I saw the uh, this because this looks like a sword to me. So, Aries, I feel like you're, you've gotten clarity on something that when you went inward, okay? We got wisdom. God has a plan for me. I live here now knowing beauty is to come. I don't force things to happen faster than the universe has decided for me. I learn from my experiences. Take small steps in faith and succeed thanks to all my efforts. So, yeah, I feel like you've gotten some type of clarity here, Aries. Uh, some type of wisdom that was given to you, okay? All right, so let's uh, do your chakra, Aries, okay? And see where that is with your healing. Um, I have a feeling that it, it definitely could be your throat chakra, uh, also your solar plexus. So some emotions that you've been um, thinking or feeling or something, I feel like you've gotten clarity on and you're ready to talk about it. Or you talk to someone about it. Show me what I need to see for Aries when it comes to their healing journey. Where are they? What do they need to know right now when it comes to their chakras? 
for this healing journey. Bottom of the deck is self-mastery. All right, Aries, look, and then here goes the sacral chakra. I mean, not the sacral. Um, I believe that this is uh, the universe. This is your soul star chakra? I'm going to look it up, Aries, okay? But look at the, the, the colors. I mean, sun, you are Aries, so fire, okay? Makes a lot of sense. Show me what I need to see for Aries. Thank you. Look. Inner strength. All right, Aries. The number 14, which is a five, which means you could be going through some changes. Like I said, I feel like you went... You went within and you got some clarity on something. It could have something to do with your heart. It could have something to do with your emotions. Either way, I feel like you were really in deep, deep thought. Or you have been, okay? And it's like lightning. It's like lightning. And like you just got an epiphany or something like this here about who you are, what you want, and... I don't know. There's something on your path that has a lot to do with wisdom. Okay? Inner deep divine wisdom. I feel like you either are on a divine path with someone or you're on your divine path. Okay? Let's see what this inner strength is here. Oh, this is the solar plexus chakra. I was right. Okay? So yeah, you have some emotions maybe that you've been dealing with, Aries, or something like this here. And it really has gotten to you. Look at this, like in your head and in your heart. Wow, Aries. But you got some clarity, which is good. So the number 14, solar plexus chakra. You have pulled this card as a reminder that it is time to call on your inner strength. You have the ability to deal with anything in your life. We are all a part of the universe, which has magnificent power and energy available to us at all times. You are being invited to connect to, acknowledge, and call upon the incredible strength that lies within you. Life may be challenging for you at present, and you are reminded that you have the tools and the ability to conquer anything that comes your way. Whether it's an emotional, physical, mental, or spiritual challenge, this is what I'm saying. I, I definitely feel like you've been going within, you've been emotional, you've been mental, yeah. Know you have the strength to move through it and come out the other end empowered. It's time to trust that you are strong enough and courageous enough to move through this difficult time and learn some powerful life lessons. The universe is always giving you opportunities to build inner strength. It is up to you to take on the challenge and rise from the ashes. You may be required to look at your situation from a different point of view or even be willing to let go of some old belief systems that are weakening your inner strength. Whatever it is you are being guided to do, make sure to listen and put it into action. You have the courage of a lion and it is time to roar and embrace this part of you in its totality. The affirmation is, I have the strength to face all my life's challenges with grace. This is amazing energy. Uh, Aries, this is really good energy. Like, I feel like you're saying you're stepping in your power and you're doing what you need to do for yourself to be happy and to move forward in whatever struggles uh, life is bringing your way right now or any transitions you're going through. Okay, uh, so let's see what the uh, monology has to say about your spiritual path right now and your healing path, which is also spiritual uh, with Aries, okay? Show me what I need to see for Aries for their healing path. What they need to know right now for their healing path. What do I need to see for Aries? I just think I saw a Taurus energy. We got meditate and contemplate also. Don't let your pride get in the way. So maybe Aries, you need to think on some type of a situation. Like maybe you're trying to control some type of a situation and you need to think on that a little bit. What do I need to see for Aries? What do I need to see for Aries? I feel like that comes from a place of fear, Aries, where you're trying to control a situation. Okay, don't try to control it. Allow it to flow, okay? Show me what I need to see for Aries. If you try to steer it in your direction, you may be trying to steer it wrong. I feel like that comes out of fear of letting go of something or losing something. Show me what I need to see for Aries for their feeling 
journey or maybe even getting hurt. Bottom of the deck is show the world the real you. Aquarius energy. So you can have Aquarius in your chart or uh, something could have happened uh, in Aquarius season. Remember I said this seems like a sword to me. So swords are Aquarius energy. So maybe there's something about... Um, Opening up and showing someone who you really are. We got don't let your past hold you back. Yeah, don't look back, uh, Aries. Keep moving forward. Show me what I need to see for Aries. We got your commitment is being tested. Bottom of the deck, Aries, is be bold and make the first move. So, Aries, maybe you've been contemplating making the first move with someone or moving forward in something. And we got your commitment is being tested. So, maybe with whoever this is, you guys are going through some type of a test right now. Um, maybe you live at a distance from this person, or maybe there's other things that's in the way. We got the first quarter moon. I think that's in the front. I might be wrong. Here we go. Your commitment is being tested. There could be some challenges coming your way, but they're just the universe's way of testing you. The first quarter moon calls for you to face any hurdles with confidence. That's the second card that told you to face it with confidence. You're going to need your inner strength right now, okay, Aries? What do you actually think is possible? If you believe you can do it, then you probably can. If you spend your life affirming that something is too big for you to surmount, it probably is. See how it works? Do you believe your dreams will come true or have you secretly given up? Showing some commitment now will help you move towards your desired outcome. What you believe to be true is true for you, so believe in yourself. Additional meanings for this card are, the answer to your question is yes, but not yet. You're halfway to your goal. You still need to put in a bit more effort. Sometimes we just need to realize how much we want something, and you need to recommit to someone or something. So Aries, you may need to recommit to someone or maybe you are trying to commit to someone or maybe um, you need to recommit to something in your life. Uh, be bold and make the first move. So you could be trying to commit to someone and, and Spirit is asking you to be bold and you be the first one to make the first move. Okay, Aries, be step into your power, step into your inner strength here for your healing journey. Show me what I need to see for Aries, please, Spirit. What do I need to see for Aries for their healing journey? What do they need to know? So that's why you need this inner strength because your your commitment is being tested right now, uh, Aries. You need to step it up. To, if you really want whatever this is that you're trying to go towards or whoever this is you're trying to go towards, then you need to step it up. Show me what I need to see for Aries. What do I need to see for Aries? Thank you. Bottom of the deck, Aries, is accept compliments. When someone pays you a compliment, accept it with thank you rather than devaluing that statement with humility. A simple thank you acknowledges the person who was kind enough to compliment you and allows you to enjoy the moment as well. So don't be scared to just say thank you, uh, Aries. Like uh, if someone pays you a compliment about what you have on or anything of this nature, it's okay to say thank you, and then that be it, okay? You don't have to go into detail, oh, well, someone gave me this, or it was a gift, or you don't have to say that, just say thank you, okay? So what came out is awareness. So there's something that you need to be aware of, uh, purple and purple here. So this is your third eye. You are definitely uh, wide open when it comes to your third eye. I feel like your intuition is on point. But Spirit is asking you to be aware of something. You have the mind-body connection is the link between a person's thoughts, attitudes, behaviors, and their physical health. Have you ever noticed that when you feel anxious, your body feels tight? By relaxing the body, we can improve our state of mind. One powerful tool we have at our disposal is our smile. Next time you are struggling with an uncomfortable emotion, relax your face and try smiling. This simple action will signal to the brain that you are okay. I like that. So Aries, try doing that. Try smiling when you're in a difficult situation or something is making you feel anxious, okay? So let's get a fortune cookie to end this reading uh, for you. Actually, let's do a um, island time. Love, 
uh, love oracle for you, Aries, for your spiritual and heal healing journey. Let's get that. And then we'll get the uh, uh, fortune cookies just to end it, uh, to give you a peek into what is coming towards you, okay, Aries? Show me what I need to see for Aries from this deck, please, from this love oracle for their healing journey. What's going on with their love? Or what do they need to know, Spirit, from this deck? We got a mirror coming out. And also love call. Okay, Aries. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So Aries, somebody is going to reach out to you, it looks like, and let you know that they're they're uh, feeling you, they're thinking about you, okay? So mirroring each other, self-image relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. Maybe that's what this was going in here about here, Aries. Maybe you were going within uh, when you were dealing with, you're dealing with some type of relationship because you're trying to go towards someone. Remember that came out. So maybe you were going within trying to get clarity on what you're supposed to do. Is this the right way? Anyway, I feel like whatever this is that, that you're about to commit to with this person, it's being tested to see if you really want it, okay? And I feel like this could be some type of a twin flame or a soulmate because mirroring, when you're mirroring somebody, it's usually because they're a twin flame, Okay. All right, and, and then to see the uh, hot and cold, the yin and yang uh, type and blue and uh, it's like ice and fire and fire and ice to me when I look at it as well. So you could have met your match and you're mirroring this person, okay? Come into this reading spirit and just give us one last message for Aries for their healing journey. What do they have to look forward to? Show us about the near future for Aries. One more. Oh, Aries. Bottom of the deck is achievements. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. Although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. So, Aries, you could be a little worried about someone's health, okay? Or this could be your own health. We got communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. So, there's something coming in here for you. Commitment. As well, remember, uh, as it says your commitment is being tested. So there could be a, a relationship here that's being tested right now for you. We have surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. So there's love coming in here for you, Aries. So if this is what you're going towards, it's definitely going to be a part of um, your near future. So I hope that you enjoyed this a reading for your healing path to see where you are, um, what you may need to work on, what you need to be aware of when it comes to what you're doing on your healing journey. You're right on target. It looks like here, Aries, I feel like this is all really good energy. I feel like you are dealing with some emotions that you've never had to deal with before. And I feel like you're finding the inner strength to do what you need to do. I feel like you went in inside you were in hermit mode you blocked out some energy or whatever and you uh went within and found the answer that you needed so um i hope that this helped you bye